morning everybody what is up you guys we are up ready to go getting ready to pack up get things ready to take Brayden to Utah we will have him all of today and then we drop him off tomorrow in the afternoon so we're gonna enjoy all the time that we get with him <laughs> we've got him all packed up you guys into two suitcases so two years of his life packed into two suitcases we're gonna get this all packed in the car get ready to head out it's about a six hour drive to Utah, so we are gonna head out over there. We're probably gonna have dinner as a family tonight and just kind of hang out and enjoy each other's company and soak it all in before he leaves us tomorrow. So here we go, you guys. We are getting ready to head on out. You guys ready? Quick road trip all the way up and all the way back. Look what I have. Yes, you got a switch, you got a Samsung tablet. Everyone's got their uh, electronics to keep them kind of busy. However, it's going to be very limited because Braden cannot be on any electronics. So, we're going to do, we're going to listen to some Disney songs. Um, we can. Church songs. Church songs. We're going to watch some church videos. It'll be good. So. Brayden's last time being in our house for two years. Gotta say goodbye to the doggies. Say bye to Jasper. I wonder if Jasper can feel it. Jasper, can you feel it? I'm gonna give Brayden a hug, Jasper. Jasper, give Brayden a hug. Give Brayden a hug. Give Brayden a hug. Go give Brayden hugs. No, give Brayden give a hug. <laughs> give Brayden hugs. Give mama hugs. Give Brayden a hug. Give Brayden a hug. There you go. Oh. <laughs> give Brayden a hug. We'll FaceTime with, with Jasper. <laughs> we'll FaceTime, huh? Benny. I, I wonder if Benny's gonna notice. I told Brayden the other day if Benny's gonna notice him gone because at night, Benny usually goes in and sleeps in Brayden's room. Yeah. So he might be scratching at your door. We'll have to see. You wanna say goodbye to your room one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> you already did? Did you say bye room? No, I just grabbed my blanket. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head on out, you guys. This is how you hold the stuff with charger. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so we're gonna head out right now and uh, see how long. It's gonna be about a five and a half, six hour drive with maybe, we might have a stop or, or two here or there, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it is. We're gonna enjoy these last moments we have with Brayden because he's checking in tomorrow. So we are gonna be going out to dinner tonight. Um, we're gonna be meeting up with one of Brayden's childhood friends who actually got baptized with him on the same day. So. We're gonna be going out to dinner when we get into Utah. Hopefully it's not too, too late, but we're, we're thinking maybe, well actually, we'll let Braden decide. Comment down below if you guys know where you think he may wanna eat. We are here pulling to Taco Bell, and I'm gonna say, because it's a special trip with Braden, everyone can get any type of drink they want. Yes! Ooh. So. I'm gonna, uh, pineapple freezing mom. Let's go. I get a I'm, I'm sunset skittle, one. Yeah, I want a Skittle freeze. I want a, I want a Coke. So we're gonna get, as you know, we did our Taco Bell challenge. You guys, we're gonna be doing, we are definitely gonna be getting some uh, toasted chalupas here. We don't have Skittles. Anymore. Definitely. Oh, no more Skittles. So. Oh, uh, but we're definitely gonna get some yeah, toasted chalupas, you guys. Oh. Yeah, now I know The time of God It is just enough to get Elijah's got a riddle. What's the, read the riddle, Elijah. Okay. Never was, am always to be. No one ever saw me, nor ever will, and yet I am the confidence of all to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. What am I? Wow, to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. So what do we think? We've come up, we think it's Earth. But it has, it's a, not. It has it, a U in it. It has a U in it, but doesn't start Six with a letters. U. Six letters. Yeah, it has, the second letter is a U. So we were thinking it was oxygen, but it's not. No. Oh. Guys, Ash, what is it? You know it. Huh? Comment down below if you guys know this one. What do you think it is, Ash? I don't know. Ethan, do you have any ideas? I don't know. So we are making a pit stop. Yep. To uh, what do we do here? <laughs> so we still haven't figured out the riddle yet. We're gonna try our best to. So, I don't know who's gonna be tempted to look it up. Me. What? 
Can you guys know it without looking up, like right away? Just wow. Well, we might get a snack here. We're not sure. We do have some snacks in the car. I think we're gonna get water. Definitely. Right? Water, water, water. Definitely. Cold water. Yeah. Ooh. All right, because I'm actually feeling a little nauseous. I have to drive. When I'm in the passenger seat, I always feel a little nauseous. Comment down below if you get if you get car sick. Do you get car sick, Ash? No. How is it sitting in the back? Fine. Yeah. Kind of. My back hurts because of it. So are you wearing this sweatshirt in um in memory of Brayden? <laughs> That's one thing Brayden said to Ashlyn is that she's gonna be excited because she gets all of his sweatshirts. Oh man. So, dude, what are you getting? I'm getting. The Haribo Zing Sour Spaghetti. Oh my gosh, that's just pure sugar, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Pure sugar. That's pure sugar. Look at this what he has in his, in his I'm head. not having any of this. This is all mom's, mom's, mom's. Oh yeah, and what do you, oh yeah. And Emberlin's. I just, what did Caesar you, Ashland. what did you pack? Oh, Caesar Ashland's. What did you pack for the drive? Oh yeah, Mike and Knight's and Not me. &Ms. No, that was gifted to us oh. for the road trip. Oh, ah. So Ethan's getting, Ethan's drink of choice, vitamin zero. Ethan's been making some good choices with his drinks, uh -huh. trying to get the zero sugar. And actually the dentist actually recommended if he wanted any drinks with flavor to get the vitamin water zero. Comment down below if you guys like what vitamin water. Try to walk to me with it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So story time, Ethan dropped it off his head, you guys, and it busted, but we're gonna get it. He dropped it off his head? Yes. said it was my fault. Ashlyn, <laughs> Ashlyn has a story about that. When she was how old? I uh, probably like five. Like five, she or was, older. were you doing the same thing? <laughs> Holding no, it? I was tossing it around, I think. And then it, <laughs> all over the floor. All over the floor, oh okay, my mine, gosh. Mine, mine, we were going to the just, beach. Yeah, mine was just, I was just, all right, Did let's go. Waters? I never felt tomorrow Closing in this fast, oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow. All right, you guys, here we are. We have stopped once again. This is our, only our second stop of the day, though. I'm going to say that's pretty dang good because we're only like 45 minutes away from our destination, which is not too bad. Yeah. And you guys, Utah is so beautiful weather-wise right now. It is like a lovely, what, 75 degrees or something like that? So. <laughs> um, anyways, we're gonna go inside for a little potty break and then we're gonna hit the road. We're almost there, but it's like, what time is it? 5.30 or 6.30. It's 6.30 Utah time. So we lose an hour coming to Utah. So 6.30, we'll probably get there about 7.30ish, and then we'll probably have dinner at like 8 o'clock tonight, so <laughs> whatever. It's vacation-ish. Back while I'm on a one-way track Now I know what it means to grow All right, you guys, so we are here at the hotel. We are just staying a quick stay at the Fairfield Inn and Suites, just one that has some not too expensive, got some decent room for us, and most importantly, is like real close to the MTC, which is the Missionary Training Center. And all the hotels around here are booked out because I told some lady she came and it was booked out. I'm like, oh, it's missionary like drop off week. So we're here, we're gonna go to dinner right now, meet up with one of Braden's, uh, bra basically like what elementary middle school, elementary middle school friends. What? Morgan, oh, go oh, yeah, oh, elementary, elementary, yeah, elementary friend, and it's kind of cool that he's going on his um, mission right now because they got baptized together the same day, so that's kind of cool, totally cool. Really cool. Ethan's over here um, doing spooky, scary skeleton, but he's doing it off camera. And as you know, as soon as I turn away, he's gonna do it. Emberlin's teaching me. Go, Emberlin. There's Ashlyn on her phone. There you go. 
So where are we going to eat? How about Costa Vida? Ooh, where are we going? We're going to go. We're gonna go I think we're going to Costa Vida. Comment down below if you've ever eaten here. I guess it's like the Cafe Rio of Utah. Or does Utah have Cafe Rio? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they do. It's like the so. ripoff of Cafe Rio. Whoa. Oh, really? Costa Vida yeah. was second or was Costa Vida first? Second. Oh. Yeah. Dang. So we're going to go do that or I don't know if we find a restaurant we might sit down there. So we out. Hey, are you ready? Yes. What are you going to get here? Uh, I mac and cheese. Probably. Ooh, they have like crunchy, crispy mac and cheese. <laughs> and they have pizzuki. Oh. What are you going to get? You going to get some steak? Ash, you going to get some steak? <laughs> Getting some steak? Oh. Maybe <laughs> some Steak right there, some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna have a good sleep tonight. Oh, oh yeah, I think everyone's gonna have a good sleep tonight. I love steak. Oh, that really? This is the best. Hey guys, comment down below what you like your steak at. Medium, medium rare, medium well, or well done. I like mine well done. I like mine a little bit pink, a little pink. What are you doing, Ems? <laughs> Comment down below if you can guess what Emberlin got for dinner. Ready? One, two, three. Mac and cheese. Oh. Finishing up, finishing up. Oh, look at that. Did you have that? Yeah. Good? You guys are gonna do a TikTok. We gotta get everyone yep. over to a TikTok. Which, mm -hmm. What's it called? It's called Shut Heather. Up Heather. Oh. <laughs> Shut up Heather. Ooh. It's super weird, but. It's actually pretty funny. You guys do it pretty good. So okay. Tina's over here just chilling and she's gonna get them on a TikTok. So you guys gotta make sure that you follow us on TikTok. So we just came in. You guys were all full and filled up and stuffed. Braden's tired. Braden's like gonna be heading for bed. And you guys, tomorrow, it, the day has come. Tomorrow we're gonna basically wish him, tomorrow we're gonna say see you later. And uh, yeah, and we're hoping, he's even hoping that he's not gonna cry, that they're just gonna kinda whisk him off and uh, real quick. So we're gonna get a, a quick goodbye with him tomorrow at the Missionary Training Center. But we're gonna try to get our longer goodbyes tomorrow, some pictures. Uh, in the morning at the temple, we'll probably take you guys with us there, so. It's morning time. Everyone's just kind of slowly getting up, because today's the day. Brain's getting ready. It's actually, Damn, bammer, dammer, it's actually hard for me not to get emotional right off the bat, but today is gonna be a crazy day for you guys. For our family, we're glad that we can actually share with you. And some may be like, oh, why are you sharing? You know, this is your, your family moment and, and, and so on, but we feel good about sharing this day with you guys. Um, I was just talking to Braden about how we've already seen how it has opened up so many people's eyes to missionaries just understanding that they are real people young men who've left their family who are going to feel do something that they believe and they feel is good 
and that's all the support that we ask of you guys um, because we know there's so many who have different faiths, different beliefs, and we respect that. But just to look at missionaries a little bit different, look at them as you would see Braden um, going to, to do something they truly feel is good. And uh, that's why we're filming and sharing this with you guys because each and every one of those missionaries has a family um, that they've sacrificed seeing uh, to serve others. And so it's gonna be a tough day, but we're gonna get through it. And as I said in my Instagram post, we're gonna, I'm gonna hold my head up high because I'm proud. And uh, so we're gonna take you guys along. The countdown. Countdown. Done. Looking spiffy. You feeling ready? Yeah. Any ideas of where you're gonna want to eat to get your last just binge of junk for the next few weeks? I don't know. We got them at a good place. Get some pancakes in there. Yeah. You ready, Bash? I told Ash, you might just want to hold off on the makeup around the eyes today. I know, I was putting my <laughs> mascara on. And I was about to put it on. Like, oh, and I said, she's like, okay, I'll just curl my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have done. Oh, wow. Dad, I had a dream last night where you let us run, like, for a challenge. You gave us each $100 oh. to go to Target and get whatever we want. Wow, that's not nice. should come true. It should come true. It yeah. only comes true if Brayden dreams it. Yes, because Brayden's been having some pretty crazy dreams lately. <laughs> that have come true. Yes. <laughs> oh! Okay, we might just have to make that happen. <laughs> so it's time. It's crazy. What are you thinking? I don't know, just all the emotions are pretty nice, like, sad because he's leaving for two years, that's very okay. Um, but at the same time, he's doing something good for the world, so, like, yeah, it's crazy. Two years, at least we get to call him and everything, but... Or he gets to call us. He gets to call us. We can't call him? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> What about you, dude? How's it, how's it going? Same thing as Rush. What? Like, sad that he's leaving, but happy for him, I guess. That thing, yeah. Are you excited to get, for you guys to hear the stories that he's gonna have to, he's gonna yeah, be able I'm to share with really us? I'm actually really excited because you know there's gonna be so many stories. Yeah. Over probably yeah. some, probably some good stories and That's some tough true. stories, yeah. right? You guys gonna to do your best to write him? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get on Zoom. He, he told me. He told me how to write, how I can email. Okay. Elijah's taking over Braden's phone. Yeah. <laughs> I have a new phone. Look at my wallpaper, guys. <laughs> so, how are you feeling with everything going on today? Sad. You're gonna get different. Yeah, are you gonna give him one of your big Amberlynn hugs? Yeah. Amberlynn used to always, whenever she'd see Brayden, she would always just walk up and give him a big hug. Like this. <laughs> yeah, just like that. So what are we gonna do right now? Go eat? Yeah. Oh yes, the, the front desk gave us a free item to get at the little front desk store. Yeah. So everyone's gonna go get one, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys, here we are at IHOP. We are having our last breakfast with Brayden. He yeah. dressed up for the occasion, so that was good, <laughs> you guys. So we're gonna head in here and you just grab me. some food. We have about, I don't know, three and a half hours left with Brayden, so we're gonna eat here and then we're gonna head over to the temple, take some last pictures with him and <laughs> then we'll be sending him off, you guys. So we're feeling good. We're feeling sad that he's leaving, but we're feeling really good about he's what good. he's doing and why he's doing it. And um, we just know he's gonna be amazing. So on that end, we are super excited for him. On the other end, of course, we're gonna miss, um, we're gonna miss him. Thank you. Gracias, hey, thanks. You're thanks welcome. for holding open the door. You're welcome. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks, Brayden. All right, you guys, food is out. Ethan, what'd you get, dude? What's that? That's what you always get here, huh? Love it, so good. Amberlynn went with the chicken strips and fries. I only got some hash browns and a side of bacon. Brayden is not feeling too hungry, so he's got some hash browns, a side of ham. I'm making up for him. Yes. I've got pancakes, <laughs> and a side of hash browns. Danny never has a problem eating. And Elijah got some chicken nugget or yes. chicken fingers. Yeah. Ashlyn got some eggs, French toast, pancakes, all the yummy things. Time to eat some grub. you guys so we just got done with breakfast and now we are gonna head over to the Provo temple and see if we can get some pictures we are winding down on time you guys the closer it gets the harder it's getting so um, we're gonna go get some pictures right now
Thursday, so that's when you'll hear from me next. Love you all. Oh. I know I'm driving, but we just got an email from Braden, you guys, already. Did he send it to everybody, or is that? Me and you. What did he say? I'm here and it's going pretty well. Companion is awesome. Already comfortable. That's all I can really say. P-Day is Tuesday, so that's when you'll hear from me next. Love you all. Elder Phillips. Oh. Oh, tender mercies. Yes. They know the parents need to know, like, right away. <laughs> it's literally been like 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Turn right. Turn right. Whew. All right, you guys. Ooh. So we've kind of went into the gas station, freshened up, trying to breathe a little, yes. get through it all. That was probably one of the hardest things we've ever had to do. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying if I keep talking. <laughs> we, um, but we did have a little tender mercy, a little blessing, like just within 30 minutes of dropping them off. We, yeah. We got an email from him, basically just saying like, all is good. I met my companion, and I'll be able to talk to you guys on Tuesday. So, so we have to wait all the way till Tuesday. Tuesday, almost a full week, but that's okay. But um, it just eased, it eased us. It did, like getting that email where he's like, oh, I'm already feeling comfortable, like that just like eased my heart. So I know he's gonna do amazing things, as hard as this is to say goodbye, um, he's gonna do amazing things out there, and we couldn't be more proud of him, more excited for him to experience all of these things. And like I said, you know, I said earlier when I opened up the vlog that, you know, we we're doing this, we're recording this just to kind of bring awareness, you know, and just to at least open everyone's eyes to, you know, to missionaries. And when they see missionaries, just just to know that they're 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 young men like Braden, you know, that they have families and they sacrifice and and you know, I'm so proud of him and the choice he's made. And uh, we definitely are going to miss him selfishly <laughs> yeah but uh he's gonna do great things and, and we're so proud and, and we are glad that we're able to share this with you guys yeah you guys he's literally sacrificing two years of his life putting it on hold to go serve the people of oregon to spread the gospel to just go out there and serve them and love them and i can't think of a more respectable thing for someone who's 18 years old to do yeah and it's gonna change him in ways that nothing else can and we are so excited for that to see that change in him and just follow along on his journey and you guys we're gonna take you guys with us we are gonna fill you in give mm -hmm. you updates on how Braden's doing any pictures he sends we will try to put a lot of those in the vlogs and um, just kind of take you guys with us but if you guys see a missionary in your area give them some water give them a hello give them yeah. a honk from your car show them support um, yeah just for what they're doing for themselves and and uh and the sacrifice they're making yeah exactly so kids are doing okay you guys you guys all right back here yeah, I'm just trying to we had some sobbing in the car for the good 30 minutes but now we got some treats to kind yeah. of help us through we're like whatever you want <laughs> go get it <laughs> go grab whatever you want I didn't if it looked like I was playing a game on my phone or anything, I've actually been not. I've been email. I've been typing in an email this whole time. First thing Elijah did was jump on his phone and start emailing Brayden. So I think this is going to be really great communication for them with Brayden, and I I honestly think it'll bring us closer as a family in a different way. Even though we're further apart as a family, we're going to grow closer and the bonds are going to be stronger. So for sure, we're excited about that. We're sad he's gone. That was really hard goodbye you guys like really hard but we're excited to see what's to come all right you guys so elijah has already written brayden an email yeah and i sent it at 2 19 p.m he's gonna read it to you guys and let you guys know what he wrote the title is your mission with pizza rolls <laughs> hey brayden this is elijah i'm hoping you'll have a great time at the mtc at and at Oregon, I am excited to hear the stories of your mission and how it is. Just know that the Lord is with you and is protecting you every step of the way. I know you will have fun and you will be comfortable with your companion. I know it will be an amazing experience and you will have amazing miracles and blessings coming your way. I know that you are going to change many people's lives during your mission. I know you will love it and your time as a missionary will go by fast. It will be hard and slow at first, but I know it will be worth it at the end. When you teach the many people about the gospel, I know you will get clo close with some of them. Oregon will be 
like your family and you will get closer to them as you teach more of the gospel to Oregon. Brayden, I want you to know we all miss you and we are excited to email and call you. By the by the way, this is Elijah 30 minutes after you left. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun buying all your pizza rolls. Love Elijah. Aww. <laughs> That was so good. So before Brayden left, Elijah told him, I'm going to email you right when after we drop you off. <laughs> so he stuck to that promise, literally sat in the back and just wrote him a big old long email. So I've also learned that um, I'm um, getting faster at typing. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Fast typer. Fast typer. And um, that's also Brayden's old phone. So yeah, so <laughs> emailing Brayden on his old phone just to rub it in his face. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, you guys, here we are at Chick-fil-A. We've taken another stop. I don't know where Ethan's going. <laughs> oh, get your foot flat. All right, we got some chicken here. We've got fries, chicken. You guys, this is the best. If you go to Chick-fil-A, you have to get the frozen frosted lemonade. It is so delicious. The waffle fries are amazing. Their Chick-fil-A sauce is amazing. Danny is amazing. Elijah is amazing. I Ethan's amazing. Like Ashlyn is amazing. And Everlyn's amazing. Didn't give me <coughs> so, uh... <laughs> Turn off the camera right now, Dad. Okay, you guys. Just finished up eating. Didn't get much of us in there eating much, but we have eaten and now we are headed back home. We have about two hours left on the road. Oh, it hasn't been that bad of a drive. No, except for the 50 stops for Elijah. Oh, oh that's true. God. You guys, we've had to stop like 10 times or so on the way home. Partially, part of that's our fault because we gave him a big old drink <laughs> and we knew that that was probably gonna happen because Elijah has no very bladder. litter. Okay, yeah, we were no stress bladder. drinking. Yeah, they were stress drinking, they said. <laughs> so we did kind of, we were like, get what you guys want, because everyone was so sad and just like, yeah, it was a sad moment. So we're like, you know what? Get whatever you want. Food heals the soul sometimes. Indulge. So <laughs> indulge, baby. So you guys, we've got two more hours and we will be home. We are just kind of talking about how it's going to be weird to be home and just know like, no Brayden. That's <laughs> weird. I know. So weird. But um, I keep checking the same email that he wrote us just to see how he's doing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, do you guys want to know how Brayden's doing? Let's see how he's doing. And then I just open the same email. Oh, he's good. <laughs> it's how I cope, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's how I cope. So anyways, we're going to be home in about two hours, you guys. We'll say hi to the doggies. I'm sure they have missed us. Inez from How Inez Rolls has been so kind her and her son Ezra to take care of the dogs while we were gone. So, all right, let's go back on the road. Boom, bam, dum, baby. You guys, we just pulled up to our house. Oh, look, we just pulled up to the house. Tina's a little, Tina just started crying. How awesome is that, you guys, for us to pull up home and we just got majorly heart attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what this is all about right here. Boom, check that out. What? Who's that from? The family. This is from our family, you guys. You guys know we've got... The best family the, ever. Yes. Paul and Inez, Amber. And Bobby, Jasper's on the other end, Jason, Lene, you guys, the family. You guys, look. Oh. They gave us Dunkin' Donuts for Survivor, too. That's so awesome. Look, all of our family's names. There's Aww. Isaiah, you guys. He's on his mission, too, right now. This is awesome. Aww. That's awesome, huh? You guys, how awesome is it for us to come home to this? Whew. All right, let's get to see these dogs. What? They heart attack on board. We love you. That's awesome. They let Benny out. What? You guys, there's hearts everywhere around our house. 
Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We love you, the pram. What? Hearts everywhere, you guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is what could happen when you have amazing, awesome friends and you oh. give them a key to your house. Okay. <laughs> the best friends, you guys. Like, literally. I am like, I did not even expect this. This is oh. awesome. These cockroaches. <laughs> Jasper, give me a hug, bud. Oh, 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 what's up, Benny? Give me a hug, bud. You guys excited? So we are home and getting a little bit settled. Tina's just um, installing a new app called Countdown Maps. It has like Braden's like stats, I guess you can say. Yeah. So I went out to the car. We actually saw one of our friends just walk in the neighborhood. And she was like, oh, you know, she has a daughter out on a mission. And she's like, check out this app. And it showed like her daughter was, um, has been out for 39% of her mission. And I'm like, oh, dang. She's like, yeah, just download the app. So we did. We did, yep. So right now we're just relaxing, watching Survivor, just kind of, you know, getting settled back into home. Ashlyn's upstairs getting ready for school tomorrow. And um, because she's not into the Survivor thing. So we're just kind of just, Trying to get back settled into real life, yeah? So, we're gonna keep you guys posted on our Survivor, probably on like Instagram. Tina will keep those updates on, on Survivor. So, we'll see who, which team between me, Ethan, Tina, Elijah, and Emberlyn, which player is going home tonight. 